Hi, Josh here. And Michelle. We are Adventures, Adventures Ahead. Ahead. And today, we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of the Carnival Ecstasy. Ecstasy. And I was going to have a pill brought up for Ecstasy. <laughs> what are you going to call I have no idea what I was going to call you, but it wasn't Michelle. Um, You'll get slapped later. <laughs> so, Carnival Ecstasy. We like this ship. The we good, like, the bad, the ugly. We like this class of ship. Yeah. The fantasy class. So we wanted to start that out by saying that. So I guess we'll start off with the pros. Sure. Michelle? I would say that the staff to guest ratio on the fantasy class and particularly the ecstasy was a really good ratio. It always felt like there was enough staff for the amount of guests. Most of the time, not I was always. I say, there is a caveat Most to that. Of the we time. will get to it. But yeah, definitely. Overall. Overall, it was really good. What's um, the next one, Josh? Uh, the bar staff was on point. I mean, they were boom, 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 boom. I mean, and we'll get to a li There's a little asterisk next to that, which we will get to it later in the cons. But for, I'd say, 95% of the time, they were. Boom, and they yep. were remembering our drinks, and they had them. Um, I mean, people... The drinks were, were good, too. And and the guy... We had a bartender that remembered us from a different ship. Yep. And he made Michelle a double drink. Triple and he, whatever. I don't know, and he made her, like, these fancy straw. I mean, he was awesome. So, yeah. like... And uh, so, if you're out there, Rudy, you're good, man. Look for Rudy at the bar, guys. Um, casino bar, I think. The and, next pro was that... We really enjoyed the decorations on this. So there was a wide variety of decorations. I know a lot of, this is an older ship and it has older decorations. We liked the themes of that. And we also liked how there were, there was a motorcycle and a car inside the casino. That was really cool. Well, the car was like, well, out, farther kinda, down. yeah, but it was cool because it was like, I don't know if it was from the 19, like 20s or 30s or something, but it was really cool. Yep. Um, so yeah, we like that. Definitely the decor of the different places. Uh, the, the karaoke bar was really cool. It had like, uh, different things from around the world in mm -hmm. there. Remember that? Yeah, it had the Statue um, of Liberty. And it had like a, some truck in there from something. There was the China, like the Chinese oh, yeah. lanterns. That was really cool. Yeah. Yeah. There was a lot of cool stuff. I and, liked the themes of the different rooms. Yeah, it was good. And of course the bands. Smaller, the fantasy class ships. Um, we have noticed have, what? You're shaking the camera when you do that. Oh, whoops. I'm going to tuck my arms. <laughs> uh, when we have, uh, when we have, when we've been on the smaller ships, our, um, the bands are, the bands in, are, better. are very strategically placed. In, and they're better. Yes. They're better bands. And yeah, we like to have the band set up right by the casino. Because mm -hmm. if you're playing in there, then you can hear it. But also, the casino bar right there, you sit right Jump there. In. And it's really fun to drink and sit there. And then also, if you don't want to sit at the bar, it's too smoky, they also have lots of chairs mm -hmm. and you sit right there and drink and listen. And it's a lot of, and we did that several times. I mean, one night me and Michelle went to the bar, sat there, drank a bunch, and they played. And it was just a lot of fun. We were laughing with people and talking and the music was really good, and we 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 very much enjoy that mm -hmm. for sure. One of the other pros that we talked about was the food quality. Food quality on the ecstasy was really good. We thought, in our experience, right. Like so the buffet was probably one of the better buffet experiences we've had. Mm -hmm. It was really good food. Breakfast. Uh, I don't think we ate lunch on a buffet much um, at all. Dinner we did a couple times. Yep. And it, I don't know, one time, a couple of times we drank a lot, but maybe that had something to do with it. But it was good, though. I mean, you know, of course the MDR is going to be but a your little parents, bit better quality right, of food. But your parents thought that the buffet was good. Yeah, so, they said that the MDR was better quality, which I think in any case it right. will be. Just because of how it's prepared and served to you. But overall, it was really good quality food. Food. Better quality food than the the phase that we've experienced in the past. Yeah, I think the sunshine had all right. I think actually, I think the fantasy had really bad buffet food. Yeah, if they I did. remember right. Yeah. Um, um. But and then also we did go to the MDR several nights, 
And the service in there was really fast. fast. It was, I mean, for we were. For breakfast and dinner. I mean, for dinner, we sat in there for like, usually it takes an hour, hour and a half. We were in there maybe 45 minutes. Yep. If not. I would say that it was the fastest service that we ever had. And the service we ever had, yep. And it was great. So, and I think that just goes along with it being a smaller ship. I think so too. Because we, I don't know if we even, I think we had an EMDR and a fantasy maybe one night. Yeah. And it was, and it was all right. It took forever. Right. It did take forever. So that's what I think. But this was very fast. Yeah. So Port Day, Sea Day, Breakfast, fast as well. Oh, yeah. So um, also another pro is uh, it didn't feel too crowded. Of course, it's a smaller ship. Um, but when you're walking through different lanes and stuff of like, you know, aisles and different things like through the Lido area or whatever. Of course, the first day is always crowded in Leo Air because they send everybody there. You just which can't is avoid ridiculous. that. I mean, okay, we here, did, but... Here, here's a bonus tip. First-time cruisers. If they send you to the Lido deck, don't, don't go, go there. Yeah, don't go. Explore I mean, the ship. If you want to eat something, fine. Go, go anywhere else. Go eat there, but don't hang out there the whole time. Go, I would. Don't go post up yeah, there. Yeah, I would definitely go anyway, to explore the that's ship. that's another video. That's a pro tip. Um, um, so what's another the last pro one? is Fast of the Fun and guest services. So, so we had Fast of the Fun and we've done a video on that before. We enjoy that, but it came in handy on guest services like it always does. Like I'd say on the Ecstasy, the guest service line, the normal one, never had any less than 15 to 20 people. Unless you're going at like midnight or one. Right, dude. Like anytime I saw it, it was a big line. Yep. No, I went there that night to look for my wallet like at 10 o'clock at well, night. Well, that's our next one. Oh, okay. Our so next pro is that we have honest crew. honest crew. Yeah, it, it was an honest crew for sure. I mean, well, the guy that found mine was. And so one night we were in the atrium and we were partying and, you know, having some drinks. And they had uh, pull Leon, phone, yeah, Leon had his pull phones out of our cruise director. It's all Leon's fault, basically. And he wanted to shine our light, so I did. And when I pulled my flat, my phone out, my wallet was in there, which I don't know why I carry my wallet. I'm not going to do that anymore. And it fell on the ground and I had some money in there. I mean, not, I, I mean. It was a substantial amount of money, I felt like. Yeah, yeah, I guess <laughs> it was. And then, uh, that's for the casino. And then um, my license and my license was in there too, which, and so I was like, oh crap. And then, well, I got, we went to, we went to the casino and we were like in there and I went to grab my wallet and I'm like, uh oh. And then you went to do something else. And then I shot down to the room real quick yeah, and went looking for it while she was playing a game or something. And so I didn't tell her about it because she would have freaked out because she, she already had like eight or nine drinks. She would have been like, oh, <laughs> Anyway. So, but then, that's part of the story. Okay. And then I went down to the room, looked all over. I was like, oh, God, he's under the bed. Because we went back to the room first before <laughs> we went to the casino. And I couldn't find it. So then I went back to the atrium because I'm like, what well, has to be in the atrium? And I pulled my phone out, looked all over, couldn't find it. I asked the bartender that knew us. Mm -hmm. And he goes, oh, check over here at guest services. Like I said, there was a big line. I'm like, oh. So I went to my spot, Fashion of the Fun. Nobody in line, of course. Got right up there and I said, hey, I'm missing a wallet. And then he went back, grabbed it, and said, are you Josh Hall? I said, yep, Josh Hall's dead. They matched my card. They ran my card or whatever. And they handed it to me. And I was like, oh, man, I'm so glad I, the money was in there, my license. And she's like, yeah. She's like, if an employee, employee isn't going to risk losing their job over $100, mm -hmm. it ain't going to happen. I said, okay, cool. So, yeah, I lost my wallet. I know I was drinking. Whatever. Don't judge. But I didn't find it. And it was cool. So, like I said, that was really cool. And like I said, if and if I would have had to wait, I would have had to wait in that guest service line for freaking like an hour. Yeah. If I didn't have it. Let's move on to the cons. Okay, we got it. That was the last of our pros. So. That was the last of our pros. So, the first con that we had was on the first day, there was a slight poop odor. <laughs> I was going to say, I mean, you could say it a little better than that, Michelle. <laughs> you say it. <laughs> say it. I don't know because all I'm thinking about is poop order now. But yeah, there was a, a slight order of um, sewage. Pico. Sewage, Michelle. Oh, Pico matter. Jeez, oh, Pete. Um, so yeah, it smelled like sewage on the first day. Yeah. And, um, but it didn't last. No. It was gone. It was gone by the time we... Slashed. I'd say later that night yeah. it was gone. Yep, it was gone. Totally. You couldn't smell it anymore. Now, we've been on other ships, so that has lasted all week, almost. 
Yeah. Sunshine. And <laughs> What's the second con, Josh? And second con is uh, during peak time bar service, I felt like at certain bars they could have had more uh, Wait, bartenders. 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 Bar senders. <laughs> <laughs> and and most notably the atrium bar. Okay. So after a show gets let out, that's right. A, or sh uh, an after show in the atrium, mm -hmm. it would make sense to have more than two bartenders. Right. There. They had two bartenders, which one of them was our dude. Mm -hmm. The other guy was good too. They were both our dudes. Right. But like, it's like these two guys got away. I mean, there's like hundreds, hundreds of people. people in there, so it's like, yeah, they need. To, they should have two more people behind that bar, at or at least. least one. Yeah, three at least. So that's just how I feel. But, I mean, we had our drinks fast. And because the well, dudes they knew, knew, they knew so what we, we were drinking, so they already had it made. We tip. Yeah, we tip good. So, um, yeah, that's a pro tip. If you if you want your drinks fast and there's long lines, tip good, and they'll remember you, and there'll be no problem. Right, Michelle? Yep. The <laughs> next con that we had was they changed the casino, like, scratch off. This perturbed uh, me. Offer. So if you have losers of the scratch off, you turn them in, and there previously had been a... Wait, I know, but you turn them in, on the, and on the last night, Sorry. there's a drawing yeah. at 10 o'clock. And for that drawing, they used to have something on there that you could win a free cruise, yep. and they took that off. So it's a wheel, so you didn't explain it very well. So what it is, is it's a, you, they put all the... Yes, yes, you do. Okay. So you put the losers in a wheel, like in a spinner, they spin them, they pick three people, they peel out, and they call your name. And you can go up there, there's this big wheel, like Wheel of Fortune type stuff, and you spin it, and there's all these different money amounts, free lotto tickets, and there used to be one spot where you could win a free cruise. That spot is gone. Yeah. And it really ticked me off. That's a... Because that's I told Steven and Ann, I said, hey, man, there's a free cruise. Me and Michelle, maybe watch a free, can win a free cruise. Like, oh, come watch, see if you guys win. And then when we got there, disappointed, because there wasn't a free cruise on there, you cheap son Josh. of a guns. That's a carnival wide change, though. It's not sure. It's not specific to the ecstasy, I know, but, but it was still really disappointing for us. Yeah, because it's like the most you could win was two hundred and fifty dollars. Like, pfft, whatever. That's not that much. So our next con we had on here, and this was, I guess, my con. This is Michelle's. I thought that the there needed to be bigger public restrooms. So the most stalls I saw in a public restroom were two stalls. And like ladies, yeah, but there's not that much room. I know. So I'm... like in the men in the men's room, there's two urinals and one stall. So there's only one more place. Oh well, the other, I guess. And like the urinals gripe. are like really close together. You're almost touching a dude when you're pissing. <laughs> Believe me, you're like shoulder to shoulder, man. Don't look. <laughs> um, the other, I guess, small gripe I had was. The restrooms could really use some remodeling just because some of the door da like was were damaged and it would hardly close. That's the only thing I noticed. Um, not a huge gripe. I'm not trying to complain about it. Yeah, well, you did though. Okay, what's the next thing, Josh? You are such a complainer. What's the next thing? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, so the next one is um, not a huge complaint, but our room steward. On this cruise was probably the um, not not the worst. It's not a worst thing. It's probably he paid the least amount of attention to us than um, our previous three cruise room stewards have. Yeah, and I don't know I if that's because he had more different. on his plate or we didn't spend as much time in the room. That, that was maybe too. another. Um, but yeah, maybe he didn't have as much on his. Maybe he had more on his plate. I know he had to be a salesman. He was stressed out a lot. I yeah, feel like. you could tell he was like, yeah, yeah, uh huh. You know, he was like, he like couldn't... usually, you know, we shoot the sh stuff with yeah. our room steward a little bit, and it's fun. Yeah, he was all business though. Yes, very much so. Yeah. So, but he, nice guy. Very nice. Made the room you know, really he, clean. He cleaned. He worked our room. his butt off, but there wasn't that personal connection that we had with the last three. Yeah, not saying he did a bad job because he didn't do a bad job. That's right. Uh. The other con that we had is if you're used to sailing on bigger ships, this might not have all the amenities that you, you might be used to. Right. So, you know, it just depends on what you're looking for in a cruise. Josh and I, we, we make our own cruise. That's right. Know? But the one thing we do wish it did have was like a steakhouse. A specialty a G, restaurant. Right. And a Gigi's. Don't care about the Italian place. But, one of those. Yeah. If it had like a specialty restaurant, or that would like be like a our, seafood shack. 
right? Something, yeah. I mean, like, I know that they have guys in the Blue Iguana, uh, which is cool. I would like one for paying or what restaurant. About, right, one extra paying restaurant mm -hmm. on the ship would be awesome. Get rid of that dumb library. And let's put a... I mean, that was cool because we had the chef's table on Well, there. right, but... So... I mean, come on. Who's going to go in there and play checkers? We saw people. Yeah, I know. Sorry. Sorry people that play checkers. Anyway, that was the last of our cons. Um, yeah, that's it. So, so that wraps up our pros and cons. That's what we just wanted to run down and tell you what our pros and cons were for Colonel Lexity. We didn't do it on our last ship, and I felt like we kind of... <laughs> really all blew there. It. Yep. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, more often when we go on ships. Mm -hmm. um, so there's just some things. Let us know what you guys thought about the Carnival Ecstasy. Uh, pros and cons. And write them below. And I know a lot of people's, uh, like, Carnival Ecstasy is kind of like people's, a lot of people's first cruise yeah. type ship. Virgin and I Voyage. Think, and I think that you're going <laughs> to, and I think that you're going to have a good time on that ship. Yeah, I think so too. Uh, your parents were first time cruisers on the Ecstasy. What did they think? They liked it a lot. Yep. If you watch it, my mom cries when she has to leave. So she loved it. And okay. my dad was bitter. Yep. <laughs> so, and everybody was okay. Yeah, we yep. were good. <laughs> Are you okay? okay? <laughs> we say that a lot of kids. Yeah, her and her family, they always ask people if they're okay, like all the Are time. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. We will see Thanks you for later. Watching. Bye. Bye.